Welcome back guys, it's Cryptoraco here and in today's video we're going to talk about Ripple. In this video we'll talk about Ripple and Consensus, Ripple and their partnerships and Ripple and Coinbase. And at the end of this video I'll give you guys my Ripple price prediction for May, June and also longer term in 2018. And I'll be sharing really good insights so please stay tuned and watch this video till the end to find out my price prediction and get some really good insights about Ripple. So Ripple guys, it went up massively as you know in December, January time it went up to over $3, $3.5. I had a really good entry on Ripple but unfortunately I didn't take as much profit as I should have. So that's a le lessons learned. Next time I'll definitely take more profit. But Ripple has dropped massively, probably one of the biggest crashes in, uh, in most cryptocurrencies from $3.5 for, for at least the bigger cryptocurrencies. And it's trading at a very small amount, um, almost like half a dollar at 67 cents. So it's a really good price if you're bullish on it. If you like Ripple, it might be a good entry. The first point I'd like to talk about today is partnerships. So Ripple is a very popular coin. They're always in the news, always on CNBC. They're announcing partnerships. They're doing their work and they are really good at marketing it as well. So a lot of people know about Ripple and their price is quite low so people like to own more coins because you can't really own that many bitcoins unless you're a millionaire even then you can't own that many bitcoins whereas Ripple you could own a lot of Ripple because it's so cheap although that shouldn't have an effect it has a psychological effect so partnership wise guys MoneyGram one of the world's most famous money transfer companies they're partnered with Ripple and allegedly they're using XRP as well there are rumors that you can use Ripple and not XRP that is some Thing that I don't like but MoneyGram is apparently using XRP another big company they're partnering up with is Mercury FX IDT Corporation um, Lian Lian a Chinese company so they're, they're partnering with companies all around the world in America in China in in the Europe there I've got some partners that are in the Middle East as well in Asia so Ripple are partnering and these partnerships are great why isn't partnerships having an effect on cryptocurrency price and Ripple price because we have been hearing about partnerships so we don't really get excited about partnership as much as we we used to last year if there was a partnership announcement lip coins will just moon if you were in if you have been in this market but nowadays guys we want to see use cases we don't want to just hear about another partnership so moneygram partnering with ripple is still i'm not dissing this partnerships guys it's still good and we need to understand cryptocurrency is a very initial starting phase of um of cryptocurrencies at a very starting initial stage we're the early adopters so it's going to take time for it to kind of have use cases it took years for internet and emails to catch on so it's going to take time guys so we shouldn't expect overnight use cases and successes and we need to kind of be patient and let this market space develop again the partnerships that i talked about sbi holding lian lian and bank testing and other projects so ripple are partnering and working with other companies which we can only say is positive ripple has also successfully gone through a series of tests in over 60 banking and financial institutions in japan and south korea so as you can see guys they're always in the news and they're doing good things uh, ripple five major partnerships with moneygram uh, idt and mercury fx um, SBI Holdings, which I've already mentioned, Lian Lian, Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority. So it shows they're partnering with companies all around the world. Talking about Brazil, India, China. So Ripple is literally you can, some people. There was a good video on. Well, usually videos are very speculative, but there was a good informative video on Ripple kind of taking over the world and the, comparing the market caps and and the uh, the amount of money and the value of money that gets transferred and how ripple can take a piece of that pie maybe i'll do a video on it but if you're very bullish on ripple i'm gonna give you guys my give you guys my views on ripple at the end of this video but if you guys are really bullish on ripple it might be a good idea to buy at this entry price but again this is not financial advice so um, just want to finish on like more partnerships for Ripple and then Santander partnership. I've done videos on this before. This is massive, guys. Santander partnership is a really, really big, big partnership. So Ripple are doing doing really well in partnership. If they can take the next level and provide more use cases, guys, Ripple could actually go to that next level and go to the moon. I hate talking about going to the moon, and although I use clickbaity titles at times, um. 
honestly guys if they can deliver on this partnership ripple could be great even if you like it or don't like it if they can deliver on these partnerships ripple will be a very good coin to invest in the future whether you like it or not next guys i'd like to talk about consensus first of all guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please uh, subscribe to my channel i do videos on cryptocurrencies bitcoin litecoin icos price predictions news updates breaking news the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money so if you haven't subscribed subscribed yet guys please subscribe to my channel scroll down and hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification button because i do litecoin giveaways um if you want to win half a Litecoin, guys, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button and leave your Litecoin address below to win half a Litecoin. Um, I'll talk about consensus next. I did a video on what my thoughts are on consensus. So watch that video to find out more. But in this video, I'll quickly go over some of the key bits. And um, so I posted this on Twitter, guys. If you see, this is the floor plan for consensus. And who do we see has got the biggest booth? Ripple. And it's not just the biggest booth, guys. Look at the location. If you've been to marketplaces, you don't walk around and find a corner shop. You will go to the biggest, fanciest shop. And as you register, who do you see? Ripple. Consensus is quite big. And people were expecting a big bull run when consensus came. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. And the reasons why we didn't get that... I kind of explained it in this video where I said, you know, it, I don't think anyone should have expected consensus starts, price goes up. It doesn't work like that. We need to understand what, what the mechanism behind it is. Some of the points I talked about in this video is that partnership will be announced um, the, the conversations have been good i'll share some uh, videos with you some articles with you that some of the converse, good conversations that have gone on but it's going to take time to announce them so we need to give it time another thing was the crowd has changed before last year people that went into this this consensus where people liked bitcoin they wanted to buy bitcoin now there's like regular regulations rumors there's there's like more regulatory concerns whether coins and security sec being involved and also institutional investors are judging bitcoin and cryptocurrency in a different way they don't believe in bitcoin and cryptocurrency as much as us so there's loads of reasons i'll go into detail in that video i'm not going to go through it again and on twitter guys i release trading signals news up there i'm, I'm more uh, popular and more post more frequently on twitter so please follow me on twitter guys if you guys are on twitter to stay up to date so ripple is at consensus 2018 and also launches x spring initiative for entrepreneurs so this is something that the release is is helping um, i'll see the exact bit where they talk about what uh, what this is they they believe that they're working they're helping other entrepreneurs who and incentivizing uh, incentivizing entrepreneurs to use ripple this is basically what they're trying to do i'm trying to find out exactly what i wanted to show you guys uh bring in uh, if uh, as a senior x bring in ripples developers program over to the worldwide developer relationship operations product marketing uh, for facebook x spring is offered to four entrepreneurs as follows all the above is great news consider considering consensus will provide some good avenue for Ripple to showcase its technology and payment. So this is a great promotion, guys, for entrepreneurs and letting other people use Ripple. Um, so we, we can only say that this is another positive for Ripple. And they've, they announced an X-Spring, bringing more people to using Ripple and trying to promote. This is what, where I talk about the kind of branding of, of Ripple. Because this initiative will be won by Ripple to invest, incubate, acquire and provide grants to companies and projects run by entrepreneurs willing to use XRP. It's great marketing from Ripple, guys. And this is increases the use case of Ripple. So um, I talked about why the consensus event hasn't skyrocketed the price. If you look previously, guys, in, in 2015, it was 35 days after the prices went up and it was actually two months, 55 days after where the price doubled. 2016, guys, is the same thing. The price went up massively almost up after 45 days. In 2017, it took it took almost 80 days for the price to go up. So we shouldn't expect consensus happens and price goes up. And, and also, it's already been priced in as well. And the trend is downwards. I'll go into detail 
detail in my previous video so i still think when partnerships are announced ripple could have a massive pump from two months or three a month from now so that's just my prediction for consensus and how ripple can benefit from it finally guys coinbase i've done a lot of videos on coinbase but i'll quickly brief you guys on on this bit so the main reason now people are saying xrp or ripple won't be added to coinbase is because it's a security and Coinbase said that they want regulatory certainty before they add coins and they cannot add coins where it could be a security. But this is what Ripple is saying. Coinbase never raised the issue of whether XRP is a security in our discussions. We are 100% clear it's not a security. We, don't, we do not meet the standards. So if they do not meet the standards, but they will say that. But what 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 is it actually a security or not? You could look at the Howey test. It's very complicated. I couldn't work it out myself, but we have to go by what Ripple are saying. But there are concerns it could be a security, although Ripple are saying they're not. The same on CNBC, they've released this news and they've said the same thing that they are not a security. If they're not a security, then Coinbase can be adding them. But if there's uncertainty, Coinbase will not do that because they, they want to they want to be this most reliable trusted player in cryptocurrency and bitcoin so they do not want to take this risk even if there's some gray area or concerns that ripple is a security i don't think coinbase will be adding it but this might be good news for you guys because coinbase seeks sec approval to become a licensed broker if they become if they pass this guys they can be adding cryptocurrencies that are considered securities so does this if you add it, it, this is speculation guys but this could mean that if coinbase gets this regular um, gets this sec approval <coughs> excuse me to become a licensed broker could they be adding ripple you could speculate i'm not saying anything i'll let you guys make up your own mind but th this could be a possibility coinbase might become a brokerage firm and if they do this guys they might be able able to add coins that that are security and there are some rumors going on reddit and twitter that that might mean ripple being added to coinbase i'll leave that to you guys maybe i'll do a, a more detailed video on ripple and coinbase because coinbase and ripple doesn't matter and it's like an old news but in the short term it's great exposure and there's going to be a price hike in the short term so if you guys are not bothered about ripple and coinbase in the long term that's fine but in the short term there will be a price increase if ripple gets added to coinbase so that was my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it so i talked about ripple and their partnerships which is a really positive thing i've talked about ripple and consensus although we haven't seen the positives yet we might be seeing it in the next two months or the next month or two months i've shared my reasons why and finally ripple and coinbase rumors i've talked a bit about the speculation so what is my price prediction for ripple guys i think ripple if if the market goes up which we're all expecting ripple can go back to around two dollars one dollar but if they can deliver on the partnerships um and and you know the consensus events comes out well the apply use cases some of the concerns with xrp being not being used and decentralized if they can squash those rumors there's no reason why ripple can't hit that three dollars and all-time highs but it could be maybe next year where they reach all-time highs but if bitcoin cryptocurrency recovers guys i see ripple in two to three dollars which should be a good price target to be at but if they can deliver some of the things that i've mentioned there's no reason why it could be even more so that's my quick price prediction guys i hope you guys enjoyed the whole video if you have enjoyed it guys please subscribe to my channel um i was gonna do a half a litecoin giveaway when i reached my 1500 subs uh, 2000 subscribers my goal was to hit 2000 when i reached my my birthday next month so if you can support me guys please subscribe to my channel and share it with my friends and um, i was gonna do it when i reached 2000 subscribers but I'm quite far out from that, so I'll probably do a half a like one giveaway when I reach my 1500 subscribers before my birthday next month. So if I get to do, if I, if you guys help me do that, guys, I really appreciate it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit leave your half like coin address below to win half a like coin. So thank you very much, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video.